Jobbing.com Arena tonight, Canucks and Coyotes. Let's take a look at the starting goaltenders in this one for the Coyotes. Mike Smith, he was excellent in St. Louis, 15-13-8 with a goals against of 2.92 saves percentage at 9.08. Roberto Luongo still on the shelf for the Canucks, so they go back with Eddie Lack, who began the game last night in Anaheim. His mark, 8-5-3 with a goals against of 2.25. His saves percentage at 9.20. We saw Dave Jackson in St. Louis on Tuesday. We see him again here tonight. Dan O'Rourke as well. Brad Kovacic and John Grant are the linesmen here tonight in Glendale. Well, the Coyotes uh, trying to build on the 2-1 uh, setback. And it's kind of funny to say that they're trying to build on a loss, but it was a much improved in terms of the team game than what we saw on Monday night in Winnipeg. We'll see what happens here tonight. And the Vancouver Canucks blown out in Anaheim. 9-1 losers last night to the Ducks. Well, if the Phoenix Coyotes play like that consistently, they're going to win more than their fair share of hockey games, especially tonight. A back-to-back -back situation, yes, the Vancouver Canucks got embarrassed, but the legs aren't going to be 100% there. Late game last night, they traveled. Who knows what time they got in in the wee hours of the morning. Chris Tanner will play it in behind the net. The Canucks will look to get it back to center. That's taken away by Keith Yandel, but the Canucks bring it right back. And Hamus with a shot and a stop there by goaltender Mike Smith. And early on, Keith Yandel wants to clear it out as Dave Tippett in his 11th season as a head coach. Eighth all time in terms of wins. And John Tortorella, who won the Cup in Tampa back in 2004, the 17th Vancouver head coach, not too happy after the game last night in Anaheim. Says his team just needs to flush it. Uh, both teams need to stabilize, restabilize. That was the message. Uh, Tortorella before the game, he mentioned that. I know you've heard Dave Tippett as well. The Coyotes won win in their last seven. The Vancouver Canucks one win in their last eight. Hard to believe. Oliver Ekman Larson will play it around. Can't get it out. OEL tonight with a Derek Morris in a shot is steered aside. Daniel Sedino, good look in front of goaltender Mike Smith. Henrik Sedin now behind the net. Works it to the front. Good breakup play there by Korpakoski, and it's cleared all the way back to center. Perfect coverage right there. You're playing against, the, against this top line of the Vancouver Canucks. You cannot get puck focused. That's what the Sedins want to do. They want you to get puck focused. Look at me, look at me, and then put it right back to where you should be. Bodker has it. He'll play it into the corner. And now we got a whistle here, a takedown, and it looks like an interference call. I think this one's going against Kevin Bieksa. Oh, yeah. And another little shot there on Antoine Vermette. Bieksa, a little frustration. And this has been the issue here with the Vancouver Canucks. Lack of discipline. They allowed six power play goals last night against the Ducks. And here's a look at it. Right in the middle of your screen. Doesn't have the puck. Bieksa. A little overly aggressive interference. The call. The Coyotes a chance on the power play. The Coyotes now, Matt, have scored five power play goals in their last five games. That needs to continue. And it's our first Arizona lottery power ball power play. You mentioned the non or undisciplined nature of the Canucks last night in Anaheim. They were shorthanded 11 times. So compare that to the Coyotes. The highest they've gone this year is nine times shorthanded in that game in October at Carolina. Yandel has it. He'll look around as he plays it to Verbata, who got a shot off, and that goes over the top of the net. Uh, you can't do it. It just doesn't work. You're going to be undisciplined. You don't have a hope at winning the game. Mike Ribeiro back to the line for Verbata. Across Yandel. And now Ekman Larson in that right circle. Tried to send it across, errant pass, and Verbato will have to chase it down in the neutral zone. This is what we're talking about. Goals in each of the last five games. Five for 17 after going one for 20 in the previous six. Uh, that's the only bright spot right now for this Phoenix Coyotes team. Yandel walks the blue line, gets it across. Ekman Larson got a shot away and a rebound there. Hansel can't get it past Eddie Lack. Back out high. And now Ekman Larson to set it up. Oliver Ekman Larson to Yandel. Back out high. Ekman Larson got a shot away. That was blocked out high by Richardson. And now Yandel again. And a deflection just wide by Ribeiro. Oh, good puck movement now. It's time to capitalize. These penalty killers for the Canucks are gassed. Ekman Larson has it. He'll work it at that right point. Got one towards the net. Hansel is there. Well, Martin Hansel out of the corner. He'll feed it back out high. Yandel skates in. He's looking for a deflection from Rubana. Now the Coyotes play it in behind the net. Ribeiro now to the line. 
Yandel to Ackman Larson who fires one and it's right to Eddie Lack and we're going to whistle on a faceoff with 32 seconds remaining in the Coyotes power play. Oh, good job. It's all about getting to those loose pucks. The Coyotes do it. This penalty kill unit for the Canucks didn't have a whole lot left in the tank. Coyotes only with one shot so far with 32 seconds to go in this power play but good puck movement. Moving it all the way around. A couple redirects in front that just didn't hit the net. Henrik Sedin will take the draw against Antoine Vermed, won by Vancouver. And Kessler will look to get it out, but he can't. Could keep by Bodker. He'll play it in the corner. Now Doan trying to force it back out high for Michael Stone. And this one will be played out back to center where Kessler will send all the way down. Coyote's going to have to hurry. A dozen seconds remaining in the minor penalty to Kevin Bieksa. It's all about momentum, though. No, doesn't look like they're going to score on this power play. It created some momentum. A little buzz. Vancouver Canucks now on their heels. Here's Bodker. Rister blocked away. And a shot that time goes wide. And out of the penalty box is Bieksa. And he'll move it along for Henrik Sedin. Sedin trying to get it in front. Now play to the side of the net. Henrik was there again looking for a rebound. Puck will be sent around. Chris Tanev will play it to the line for Daniel. Now behind the net for Henrik. Stone loses it. Daniel Sedin will work it to the corner for brother Henrik before it's taken away by Bodker. And he'll try to get it out, but he can't. Played for Hamus. Hamus with a shot and a stop by Smith. And that'll get a face off. A uh, turnover by Mikel Bodker in the defensive zone. Almost ends up in the back of the Coyote net. This is what you have to stay away from. The middle of the ice, make the safe play. Don't overhandle the puck. You don't want to give the Vancouver Canucks any easy opportunity. And that was an easy opportunity. You want to make the Canucks earn everything. And right now, when you're lacking confidence, those pucks are the ones that are ending up in the back of your net and causing them games. Garrison with a shot. Easy save there for Smith. We've talked so much lately about playing to live another day. In other words, make that safe play as it's moved back in for Chichura. Sets it up to the middle and a chance that time goes right to the glove of Eddie Lack. And it also gives a chance to look at your keys tonight. They're brought to you by Sanderson Ford. Well, back to the Coyote way. It's all about blocking shots, getting in lanes. It hurts folks to win hockey games. The team with the most ice packs at the end of the night typically wins the game. Defending in all three zones. Backside pressure. And then the four check. That's how the Phoenix Coyotes score goals. They don't score a lot of goals off the rush. It's all about getting in deep, working this Vancouver Canucks team who, again, played last night. You want to work them below that goal line, force them into taking penalties, and throw everything at Eddie Lack tonight. By the way, three scratches tonight for the Coyotes. Not playing David Rumbleat along with Paul Bissonnette and Rob Klinkhammer. Those are the healthy scratches. Penalty coming up here. I think they may get David Booth for interference right off the faceoff. Or is it going to be a Coyote going to the box? Interference. Chiptura looks Kyle like. Chiptura, my, my apologies there. He's sheepishly going to the penalty box. Take a look. Center your screen. Oh, yeah, no question. Yep. Coyotes win that draw. Booth is trying to get to that loose puck. And you see just in the middle of your screen there, Chiptura with a little, little hook last through around Booth. Good call there by the referee. Now it's the Coyotes' turn to kill this one off. So the faceoff comes back inside the Coyotes' zone. And now an opportunity here for the Vancouver power play. Daniel Sedin will look to keep it inside that right point. They play it behind the net. Kessler doing the duties there for Higgins. Higgins had that big goal in Vancouver to win it for the Canucks' last time out between these two teams. Edler's shot. That goes wide. Good block there by Korpakoski. This is what we talked about. Keys to the game. Get in, in, the, in those shooting lanes. Daniel Sedin to the line. And Edler. For Daniel. Look to take a shot. Ekman Larson blocked that one away. Derek Morris. And he'll get it all the way out and down the length of the ice. Two blocks and a clear. And off the ice, fresh players back on to do the exact same thing. And the fresh foursome includes David Moss along with Martin Hansel, David Schlemko, and Zabinik McCulloch. And what a huge lift that is for the Coyotes' blue line here tonight. Welcome back. Missed 13 games. He still leads his team in blocks. Played along the far boards. And this one's going to squirt free all the way back to center where Edler retrieves. Knocked away and Moss will pick it off. Tries to get it towards the front of the Vancouver goal before Edler will settle it down for Kessler. And you, we talked about it. 
the weapons for the Vancouver Canucks, they have dried up. You see the Canucks are very non-confident team. Hard to believe. The two Sedins just fighting the puck, squeezing the sawdust a little bit out of those sticks. And the Phoenix Coyotes, very aggressive. You recognize a lack of confidence. You want to take away that time and space. Booth brings it in. He'll play one in behind the net. Yeah, the Twins really missing Alex Burrows. And what he has meant to the lineup early this season is Booth will play it. Try to get it back out high, and this one goes down the length as Hamus will have to chase one down. And That's six points in his last ten games for Daniel Sedin, and only one in his last four for Henrik. That's not Sedin-like numbers. Booth will drag it in over the line, trying to get around Morris. Cut off beautifully. Verbata to the rescue that time as Derek Morris tried to angle him off. Meanwhile, Chip is out of the box, and the Coyotes are back to full strength. Hamus floats one to the front, deflected wide by Santarelli. And now the Coyotes will bring it out. And here comes Ekman Larson in a three on two developing. Over the line for Verbata. Now Verbata and Ekman Larson with a shot and a stop by Lack. Oh, big rebound. Martin Hansel's got to stop right in front, though. Does the flyby. Delby has to wait for Richardson to get outside, and the puck will be played right back in. Nice setup play there by Redeem Verbata. Redeem Verbata is another guy. Yeah, he's getting points. He's got five points in his last five games, but only two goals in his last 19. I just would love to see Redeem find the back of the net. A very streaky, streaky goal score. Yandel gets this one out, and BX will play it back inside of his own zone. Pressure there by Doan. Nearly taken away by Ribeiro. And now out of the zone it goes. Back through center. In over the line, Zach Cassian. He had the lone goal last night to Anaheim for this Canucks squad. Yannick Hansen will play to the line. Bieksa with a big shot that goes wide. And now back of the line it goes, and Christopher Tanev will play one in behind the net. Cassian is down low. Tied up with Michael Stone. Romero in there fighting as well. Richardson behind the net got pasted by Stone there. And now Cassian working without a helmet. Try to get into the front. Now draws. Oh, Vancouver. Wait a minute. Well, it looks like it's going to be a Coyotes power or connect, a Coyotes penalty, I believe, here. We'll check it when we come back. No score early tonight from Glendale. All rights to this broadcast are reserved, and any rebroadcast, recording, retransmission, or other use of this broadcast without the express written consent of the Phoenix Coyotes is expressly prohibited. Welcome back. No score, and Michael Stone off for the hook. And it comes at 7.30 of this opening period. Yeah, good work by Cassian. Down low for the Canucks. Little hook there by Stone. A one on four. Just no need to take that penalty there. None whatsoever. Now again, the Coyotes are using energy to kill penalties. Henrik Sedin out there to take the draw against Antoine Vermette. He's joined by Derek Morris, Lori Korpakoski, and Oliver ekman Larson to kill off this Vancouver power play. Second of the period as Zedler will try to move it along, but it's taken away. And the Coyotes have a two-on-one shorthanded. For Pekoski, shoots and a glove save lack. Well, I don't the mind Coyotes that. Coyotes were looking for their first shorty of the season. I do not mind that at all. One thing you don't want to do is not get a shot. Vancouver. Little bobble of the puck there by Edler, and away they go. Vermette up to Korpakoski. Vermette's just going to go hard to the net. Yes, he opens up, but that pass was not there. The shot is you have to take it. Put it on net, make the goaltender make a save. Eddie Lack got shelled last night. Confidence is low. You know the talk in the locker room was let's pepper him early. Let's test him. The Coyotes have done that. 13 shots, 10 saves, gave up three, and then Joachim Eriksson came in making his NHL debut. Yikes. He got torched for six. Welcome to the NHL, kid. Yeah, and I would imagine he's going to be on his way back to Utica once uh, Roberto Luongo is healthy. And that is the story. That's the story. Yeah, and that is the story. When you look at the numbers the Vancouver Canucks have uh, put up over the last little while, and it's right in the crease. And cleared away by Martin Hansel. That's the story with both hockey clubs. Mike Smith has struggled. Look at the Coyotes' record. And Luongo has struggled. And look at the Vancouver Canucks record. It's all about goaltending in the NHL. Goaltending wins the championship. No, no question about it. It's a goaltender's league. 
Two shots so far on this Vancouver power play. That's why they make the big bucks. A lot of pressure. Used to be that you needed a, a guy that had been around the block a few times to go deep in the playoffs. Not necessarily anymore as this one will be moved along by Halford. Uh, how about that block by Schwartz? Goes to the bench on one foot. That's going to leave a mark. It looks like we're going to get a face-off on the icing call all the way back up. Uh, let's take a look at this block. Total disrespect for your body. Kids at home, this is how you get it done. You don't pull a flamingo. You get right out in the shooting lane. You suck it up. Right in the laces. You take it like a man. Get to the bench. And he'll get a couple taps on the rear end from his teammates appreciating that play. It's the hockey badge of courage as Schlemko now will work it to the front. Moss was there. Take it away. Coyotes with a chance. Just fired wide by Hansel. And it almost led to a goal. Right there by Martin Hansel because of that block. Higgins drops it. Now Kessler in the right wing corner. Got up into that time by McCall and Coyotes will move it back. And dare I say they've had the better of chances here shorthanded on this Vancouver power play as it goes right to the glove of Lack. And he'll give it off to Daniel Sedin. So David Booth now with a puck and he'll bring it out. Booth trying to go down the middle. Drops it off there. Played by Santarelli behind the net. Smith intercepts. And the Coyotes clear it again. That's oh, going to do it. Yeah, outstanding. Really good job on the penalty kill so far, but no more. You can't afford to go to the box anymore. We haven't seen Shane Doan. We haven't seen Mike Ribeiro, Mikel Bodker. Chance down the middle. Booth. He tried to send it across. Dolby couldn't control it. Coyotes will race it back. Three on two. Over the line, Bodker pulls up. Try to go cross ice for Vermette. And this one goes over the glass and out of play. Well, supper is on Smitty Saturday night when the Coyotes host Yarmir Yager and the Devils at six. Papa Johns and Mike Smith are serving up prizes, including a free, large, one-topping voucher for the first 10,000 fans. And a few lucky winners will get a Smitty signed goalie stick. Purchase your tickets today at 480-563-PUCK. You can also get them at phoenixcoyotes.com. And we don't see the Devils all that much, but it'll be a big day tailgating, of course, out in the lots uh, prior to that game against the Devils. Martin Broder, Yarmir Yager, and the Devils uh, doing okay in the Metropolitan. They've, uh, they've come to life as of late. Should be a good matchup. Yes, it should be and could possibly be the last look at Yager and Martin Broder. Last time you may see him here in Phoenix. You don't think Yager's going to play till he's 50? Oh, well, he could. I'll tell you that. He's putting up huge numbers once again. I thought he was done two, three years ago when he left for Russia. I did too. Pops back on the scene and continues to light the lamp. Played right back in. The homestand will wrap up then on Monday when the Toronto Maple Leafs are here in town. 4-0-5-6-3. Puck if you want tickets for either of those games. Yeah, and Toronto, too. And now McCulloch. A lot of Canadian teams in the desert. You're going to wear your old Marley's uh, uniform for that? <laughs> Probably not, right? <laughs> Played in behind the net. McCulloch. Got to forget that. Uh, stage of my my career but thanks <laughs> play it back it's set all the way back in assault on the wind oh i'm sorry i shouldn't have said that schlemko well, what a place to play hockey i would imagine in a world-class city like toronto as the puck is going to be moved and semitic mccullough will bring it yeah for the maple leafs that's for sure. <laughs> Not in the American League, I, I can tell you that. At some point... You want me to bring up when you got your lunch money stolen <laughs> at school? No, there's too many of those stories. Puck played away. And back <laughs> to the line, Vermette. Try to work it to the front, Korpakoski. Well, he'll go after it. You do have to tell the autograph story uh, at some point this season. As it's moved along, and now out of the zone it goes, and back to center ice. Yeah, that's a deal. And Ekman Larson will set it up. And now Derek Morris. Back it over the line. Bacher oh. gets it to the front. Penalty coming up here. Oh, great play. And that's going to be a hole. Mikel Bacher using that great speed to cut in from the right circle. And the Coyotes will go to the power play when we return.
welcome back and take a look at Mikel Bodger. He's got the speed boots on, just rumbling down that right side, drives to the net, absolutely fearless. Left hand out, left leg out, good speed, and takes it to the net and forces both Vancouver Canuck defenders to take him down. That is good stuff by Mikel Bodger. That's why he's got 14 goals, and that's what he brings to the table. Jason Garrison in the penalty box for the hold at 11.52, so the Coyotes back to the power play, 0 for 1, and they're looking for their first shot on goal. You use your God-given talents, and that is Mikel Bodger right there. He was blessed with that speed. They can back those defense men off in a hurry. Forces penalties. Mike Smith just went to the bench for an equipment adjustment, just getting the skates touched up a bit. Face off at the other end, and the power play unit out there for Ben Doan and Bonker, Ekman Larson, and Yandel the point men. Opportunity here midway through the first period. No score so far tonight, Coyotes and Canucks. This one will be set all the way down the length. Another Arizona Lottery Powerball power play. Yandel will flip it to Doan, and the Coyotes bring it across center. So Doan brings it in to set it up. Looks to send to the corner. Botker is after it. Higgins and Tanev as well, and they flip it to Kessler, but he can't get it out. That's twice now Kessler hasn't got it out on the penalty kill. Ekman Larson across now. Bodker down low. Now Doan out high, and a shot just wide by Ekman Larson. Yandel will play it in behind the net. Doan goes after it. Loose puck in the corner. And now Hamus is going to try to wrap it around, but a good keep by Yandel. These are veteran players for the Canucks that aren't getting pucks out. This is their problem. Shot just wide that time. Ekman Larson had one pop out high. Side of the net. Vermette. Score! Might have trickled in off Hamus. And it's 1-0. Power play goal for the Coyotes. Well, we talked about it. You don't get the puck out. And it ends up in the back of your net. Kessler the first one. Hamus the second one. And what a keep in by Keith Yandel. Gets over to the boards. This puck was coming hard. Keeps it in. Here's the original shot. And there's the goal. And here's the keep in by Keith Yandel. Great play. Outstanding play. That's where it all starts. And Antoine Vermette. How about that? That is a big goal. One point in his last 11 games for Vermette. They he needed that. Since that game in Ottawa, right? When he got the hat trick and the winner in OT. Play back and over the line. Halpern has it. Halpern drops it. Schlepko takes a shot. Goes wide. Halpern off the end boards. Try to buy a sharp angle. Secure to the line. Schlepko tries to force it towards the net. And it goes right to the goaltender, Eddie Lack. So the assist on Vermette's 13th will go to Keith Yandel and Oliver ekman Larson. By the way, ekman Larson now runs his point streak to four. Big goal. Big power play goal. Antoine Vermette, big monkey off his back, big sigh of relief. A little one-on-one -on -one meeting this morning, not sure what was said between him and Dave Tippett, but probably wants a little bit more from everyone. The guys that eat up the minutes, the minute munchers we call them, they have to start contributing both defensively and offensively. Into the corner of a bottle, look it down low, Martin Hansel has it for Tim Kennedy. Now Hansel behind the net. All over Garrison. Shot on. Rebound right there on Hansel. Can't get a pass lap. Good front net presence there for the Coyotes forward. Now this line was tremendous in St. Louis as well. Kennedy leading the way. Well, he really kind of gave him a spark early in that the third period, late second. Well, he doesn't have a lot of points. Struggles to finish plays, but man, he gets in on the floor check. He creates things. The, the play doesn't die at the hands of Kennedy. Comes right back in, and Kennedy goes after it against BX, and he rides him off the puck. This is one of those guys that, in a stealthy kind of way, gives you quality minutes on most nights. Yeah, he's got eight points in 28 games. Not off the charts by any means, but he does just so many little things right. That's why Hansel and Verbata like to play with him, because he keeps plays alive. He gets the loose pucks. 
Ocker moves it in. Works it to the front and a back. Oh, right through the legs that time. Korbikoski had a backhander almost got a pass Lack. That was like slow motion there. Yeah. Lack has been tested here in this first period. Last five minutes. He's getting sprayed with pucks. Daniel Sedin shot on and a stop there by Smith, but he holds on. Antoine Verbeck gets rolling again with his 13th. The Coyotes have a 1-0 lead. Back here at Jumping.com Marina, look at uh, Keith Yano, who set that uh, goal up earlier by Antoine Verbeck. Guys, uh, we talked about this story. I wanted to reiterate it from Coyotes Live in that pregame warm-up in St. Louis. I saw something happen. David Backus of the St. Louis Blues, who was Keith Yandel's roommate in the Team USA orientation camp, came up to him, skated up to him, and gave him some words of encouragement. Keith confirmed that today on the pregame show, so it's great to hear that from other players. That's who you play for, the respect of the, your peers, not necessarily the, the bureaucracy that you can get tangled up in in, a, in an Olympic selection Year, but the bottom line is, Tyson, we said this, and, and you confirm it to me, the players just know. Yeah, absolutely. Players know players. And I can tell you another thing. Bacchus, if he doesn't feel that way, he doesn't go up to Keith Yandel at all. He yeah. just doesn't say it. Yeah. But the fact that he went up to him and said anything is just incredible. And the way Keith Yandel played in that game as well just kind of reiterates what we all think of Keith Yandel here in Phoenix because we see it on a nightly basis, and we just saw it again here on that power play. Yeah, classy move by David Backus, that's for sure. And he's going to be one of the power forwards on that USA roster. And it's not us saying it. It's Backus saying it. Here's a chance out high. Doan works it to the line for Yandel. That time he couldn't keep. So think, he'll reset it. And I think the issue with Keith Yandel, when he didn't make that team, I think he just wanted to prove to anyone and everyone that they made the wrong decision. Just probably just doing, obviously doing just way, way too much out there offensively, and it was coming back to bite them. The last two games, St. Louis, and again here tonight, keeping things a little bit more simple, doing the things that make him successful. Well, just a reminder, when the Coyotes win, you win at Papa John's the day after every Coyotes win. Celebrate with 50% off your online order at PapaJohns.com by typing in promo code Coyotes. Offer only available online on regular menu prices. Right into the corner, and now Yannick Hansen just kind of fell down, so Rivera with a kind of a free play, but he lost it as Richardson will work it to the front. Now Yandel there to take it away. Dave Moss will bring it back to center. And now Rivera. But Dave Moss was really good in that game in St. Louis as well, probably his best game of the year. Schlumko with a shot, he missed wide. Rivera forces it to the line, Schlumko quickly to McCulloch. And now McCulloch with a shot, got through. Doan is there. Try to put home a rebound on the backhand. And the Coyotes keep it in again. Played along the end boards. And Rivero that time. Will be taken to the line. Good keep by McCulloch. And it's played out. And Schlemko to set it up. Now set back in behind the net. And BX is there. Gave you the scratches tonight. Rumblad, Bissonette, and Klinkhammer. One thing we uh, failed to mention during... Uh, the first period we had it on Coyotes Live is the fact that the team has waived Rusty Klesla for the second time this season. So we'll wait to see if he gets picked up. Or I really cares. hope. I really hope he gets picked up. He would be a real good addition to a lot of teams that just don't have the depth that the Coyotes do. Played over the top of the net. Yeah, I could see him as a good fit for a, a team that you know, might have a shot, a contending team down the road. He's an NHL player. Well, no question. He deserves to be in the NHL. we are got a whistle here. They'll bring the face off all the way down the ice. Well, we talked about the keys to the game. Coyote way. And it's all about blocking shots. Korpakoski with one on the penalty kill. Oliver Ekman Larson on the same penalty kill. And then how about Schwartz? Total disrespect for his body. Almost loses a limb on that one. That lifts a bench, right? It does. People appreciate it because that hurts. That kills. And he continues to do it. And that's when the Coyotes are at their best. When they're laying down what last year the slogan was hockey the hard way. And that's what they have to get back to. Hungrier than ever this year, yes, but still and always will be hockey the hard way. Santorelli will try to get it out. He clears back to center. What's the worst part of the body to take a shot on? Right on the laces. 
right on top of the laces. There's nothing much but a little piece of cotton, almost. A little piece of leather and cotton mixed together. It, on the inside of the you know, it, skate tongue. It stings. Put a whistle here in the corner. I got tender feet, too. <laughs> That's By the way, you're rocking some nice socks. Oh, well, thanks. We gotta protect these bad boys. Puck played out. There. The faceoff is gonna be outside the zone. What a period, though, by this Phoenix Coyotes team. That is more like it. They know it, but it's all about 60 minutes. You gotta take advantage of a tired hockey club here, the Vancouver Canucks. They will not go away. You know that. They got spanked nine to one last night. They're looking for some redemption. Sestino will get it back and over the line as he chases it into the corner against McCulloch. That will be taken away and out of the zone it goes. Hands it over Bata. And now the Coyotes will bring it back and over the line for Tim Kennedy. But Christopher Tannen is able to get it in behind the net. Hanus now pokes it into the corner. And out come the, Coyote, or out come the uh, Canucks. As Hanus will get it across center ice. Back and over the line. Dalpy, minor penalty coming up here. The late call against the Coyotes. Played all the way back to center. Eddie Lack goes to the bench. Extra attacker out. Get a whistle here. The Canucks go offside. But they will go back to the power play late on a slashing minor called by Dave Jackson. Uh, you can read lips. You know Dave Chippett not happy. Again, three penalties. You're in the game. You're feeling good. You get a goal. Minor for slashing. Little slash right there on the hands by Martin Hansel. That's just undisciplined. You're controlling the game. You're controlling the momentum. You don't want to give it back. Especially Martin Hansel being one of their top penalty killers. Now in the box. Daniel Sedin to Garrison with a blast that stopped that time by Smith. Now back of the line, Daniel will set it up, try to throw it to the front. It's knocked away by Derek Morris. Higgins all over him. Tries to bring it up the boards. Good keep by Garrison. Daniel Sedin to Garrison. Unloads the shot that's blocked out high. Oliver Ekman Larson can't get it out. Good keep Garrison. Now well, Daniel Sedin works it to the front. It's in the crease. It's loose. It's underneath. Derek Morris trying to clear it out. Uh, Morris is going to take it away, and it looks like a penalty coming up here. This one, oh, oh yeah, going against Vancouver. Yeah. Derek Morris had that puck, won the battle in front of Mike Smith, and then gets the puck behind the net. This is just all about compete. And they're going to get Daniel Sedin here. Uh, Mike Smith just gets run over as well, but there's Daniel Sedin, takes out the legs of Derek Morris as he was just about to get that puck down the ice. There should be another penalty. And I'll tell you what, the referee had his arm up, I thought, before. Phoenix apparently threw a minor for cross-checking. The Vancouver two minutes for tripping. Yeah, one and one. Oh, so Korpikoski got the original on Henrik Sedin in front. Korpikoski the cross-check it, but Daniel Sedin the trip. So, Henrik Sedin went into the goaltender. I thought Henrik might have got the penalty, but it was actually Korpakoski who gave him a little lumber in the back. So, no harm. Little lumbar lumber. As Romero will take the draw. So Vancouver stays on the power play. It goes to four on three. Garrison works it out high, and a shot by Andrews is blocked. Antoine Romero will get it out, and he clears it all the way back to center. Good job. Another, another block, another clear. Out of the zone, Garrison. Excuse me, five on four. As it's played back, those were uh, coincidental minors, so we go five on four instead of four on three. Puck played in behind the net. Zabinic McCulloch. Looks to get it out, can't do it. Halpern all over it. Now McCulloch in the corner. Now the 20 seconds remaining in the opening period. Garrison will play it in behind the net. Schlemko looks to get it out, and he will. And that should pretty much do it here for this opening period. Two Canucks shots so far. They got six seconds to get the puck up the ice. Hamuse 
Plays it there for Akma Larson, and he's just going to drag it back, and that's going to do it. So there will be 23 seconds of carryover power play time for the Canucks when we head to the second period. Coming up, Todd will chat with the goal scorer, Antoine Vermette. We'll also take a look at Jay and Dan's latest installment of On Thin Ice and have stats and highlights. Okay, a lot of penalties, Tyson, I get that. But overall, when they were in a five-on-five, five, they looked pretty good. Now, did they ever? And how about this? First game with the lead after the first period since December 28th. The Coyotes hung on. Good penalty kill. Great job blocking shots, speed, energy. That is back to Coyote hockey, but they have to remain disciplined. Well, the Coyotes get the lead on a power play goal from Antoine Vermet from Yandel and Oliver ekman Larson. And Oliver now with a four-game point streak. Stick around, Todd and Antoine, when we come back. Take a look. Welcome back. We get set for the second tonight at Jobbing.com Arena. Coyotes with a 1-0 lead over the Vancouver Canucks. Don't forget about Canada Fest. Brought to you by the Coyotes at 100.7 KSLX. It's coming up on March the 8th. You can see Canadian rock bands Bachman and Turner along with Loverboy and special guest Trooper with tickets starting at just $25. Best part of this, it all goes to Coyotes Charities. Tickets on sale this Saturday at 10 a.m. You can get yours at phoenixcoyotes.com or by calling 480-563 Puck. Should be a great night. It'll be a viewing party as well here at Jobbing.com Arena before those great bands that take the stage. Coyotes will be in Washington. We'll be there with them, Tyson. And I'll be wishing I was back here. I can tell you that. Taking part. Well, taking care of business. It's my old junior song. Aren't we all just working for the weekend? Uh -huh. Big. 23 seconds left on the Vancouver power play as they drop the puck here in period two. And Dale Weasel looked to set it up at the line. Garrison got it to the front. A stop that time. Santarelli is there. He can't get a pass. And now Weiss behind the net. Trying to work it into the corner. And back of the line it goes. Holding his Edler. And now Dale Weiss checked off the puck that time by Moss. Well, John Tartarella talked about this line being the best line on the ice. Last night, Booth getting it done. That's why they get rewarded to start the second period of the power play. That's a message to the rest of his hockey club to get going. Battle for it, Oliver ekman Larson. And a battle for the corner, Santorelli. The penalty expired over. Coyotes are going to try to stay out of the penalty box here this second period as it comes to the front. Weiss is there. Now Hansel will look to take it away, and we get a whistle as the net has come off its pegs. Let's go downstairs, Todd Walsh. Guys, uh, in the eyes of Jim Playfair, obviously stay out of the penalty box like we saw and talked about in period number one, but also wants a better job in the neutral zone, forcing, uh, well, really the Vancouver Canucks to play 200 feet, the entire group of them. But I also asked him his thoughts on Sabina McCulloch in that first period. said, hey, play good. Good to have him back, obviously. Yeah, they managed his ice time, yep. if you will. Zabina McCulloch, so important. He's missed 13 games. He only played just under six minutes, so that's solid. A lot of PK time in there. The Coyotes went to the box three times. Too, too many, if you ask me. Off the faceoff, it's going to be played in behind the net by Dan Hamus, who leaves it there for Yannick Hansen. Well, the Coyotes will get it out, and they bring it back to center ice. Shane Doan goes wide, got it in over the line, Stone. The shot was blocked out high. And the Canucks will send it all the way down the length of the ice. And Yandel is back, and we get an icing call here against Vancouver. A good follow-up there by Michael Stone, recognizing the situation. Saw that Keith Yandel, a rare time, was back, so he thought he joined the rush. Shane Doan hits him on that right side, and he leans into one. He's got the big shot. You want to let, let it fly. It's a heavy, heavy shot for Michael Stone. He's so got eight goals on the season. Hamus off the faceoff. We'll leave it behind the net for Tana, but it's taken away by Ribeiro, and it looks like we get a whistle here. The net at the other end, this time in the Vancouver zone, is off its pegs. Talked about the Twins struggling a little bit. Daniel Sedin, Henrik Sedin, these are not Sedin-esque numbers. Now, hard to imagine. You're not on, You're not happy with nine points in 13 games for it's Henrik true, Sedin. I mean, I mean, they're a point of game guys. They're the, the two that make this team go. And right now, they're struggling offensively. And so are the Vancouver Canucks. One win in their last eight. 
Played out of there and back goes Yannick Hansen to chase down a loose puck against Yandel in the corner. It just shows you the Coyotes, we talked about it. So much negativity right now surrounding this Coyotes team, but every team goes through it. The Vancouver Canucks and all the talent that they have. From behind the net, Yandel locked up there. Stone will take it away, and now Dave Moss looking to set it up. Smart play there just to get it out. And the Coyotes will follow up with Yandel through center. Over the line, he takes a wrister that goes over the top of the Vancouver goal. It's a small little play, though, back in the defensive zone by Dave Moss. Didn't have much of a play, so he, he makes the safe play to get it out. Yeah, flip it out and get on it. Live the fight another day. To the front. Overskating that ever so slightly that time, Korpikoski. And now Hedrick Sedin got checked off the puck in Korpikoski counters. There's Juan Vermette gets it down low. Korpikoski goes after it against Ryan Kessler. The exit try to clear, couldn't do it. Bodker intercepts, he sent one towards the net. That deflected wide by Korpikoski. Vancouver just turning the puck over a pizza by the exit right on the stick. And now back to the front that time intended for Bodker. Cleared out of there. Good gap again by Derek Morris. Now he's going to back it over the line. Antoine Vermette tied up with Kessler. Coyotes will get it right back in to lay it offside here, so the Phoenix will clear the zone. Didn't matter as the Canucks brought it back in over the line for Hedrick, but it's turned the other way. And back comes Halpern. Halpern one-on-one. -on -one. Little stutter move there to work it in behind the net. Eric Weber that time in a battle, and now back to the line it goes. McCulloch thought about it, gets one towards the net, and that's steered away by Lack. Al Chipchura now behind the net. Swartz back out there. Try to get it to the line. It's turned the other way, and Zach Cassian will move it right back in. Cassian trying to take it wide that time. Cut off by McCulloch. Chipchura is there for the loose change. And the Coyotes get it back to center. Playing without a helmet is Jeff Halpern, as he'll play it into the corner. He's going old school there. <laughs> Looked like Craig McTavish, gonna say. number 14, wheeling down the ice. Penalty coming up here, and a bad penalty by Martin Hansel is now coming over to have words as Dan Hamius. Yeah. Second penalty of the game for Martin Hansel, going for the big hit. And I love that he's trying to be physical. He's engaged. But you gotta, you gotta be careful. Coyote's penalty. To the line of the Didn't stick the knee out from that angle. So Hansel in for tripping. And they kill you to back out there. Vancouver 0 for 3 on their man advantage. They've registered four shots on goal. They're just playing with fire. You're asking the Canucks to tie this game up. Taking four penalties, not even halfway through the hockey game. This was the issue in Winnipeg. They took eight minor penalties in that hockey game. You can kill them off, but eventually catches up. Back of the line, a shot is on, and a stop by Smith. It's loose in the crease. They still battle away for it. Kessler will take it in behind the net. Cut off nicely by Ackman Larson. Back of the line, Daniel Sedin set one towards the net. That goes wide. Up to the line that time by Yannick Weber, and he plays it for Daniel Sedin to the front. Right there, Higgins, and an easy oh. play. No, it's set over the top. I thought Daniel might have put that one home. I don't think that deflected. I think he just put that up and over the net. He had a wide open, wide open cage. And a battle for it along the boards. Antoine Vermette's underneath the puck. Oh, the whistle. It's a yeah. dangerous play right there. Sticks and skates. Yeah, we finally get the whistle and a face-off to come. He didn't jump on the puck. He fell into the corner, blowing down, and here's the play. Big, juicy rebound there. Side of Daniel Sedin, side of the net right there. Wow. Mike Smith did have the glove over in that vicinity. But he was... Pretty stretched out on that play. 
the county. He's got a little, little luck there on that one. Yeah, he doesn't miss many, I can tell you that. 39 points, 13 goals for Daniel Sedin. And at 13 left with the minor to Martin Hansel. Santorelli's going to get chased, so David Booth comes in to take the draw. All right, got McCulloch and Weiss going at it a bit. A couple whacks. Garrison set on. Smith had that one all the way. Yeah, they're allowing Mike Smith to see these pucks. That's, that's what's important. Booth is trying to anchor himself right in the line of sight for Mike Smith. The Canucks win the draw. D to D. And they let it fly. You see Booth just lifts the leg. St. Louis scored on a play just like that. It's tough. Mike Smith somehow sees that puck, though. Gets a glove on it. No rebound. The medal take the draw out there to kill the penalty with David Schlemko, Zabinik McCulloch, and Dave Moss. Moss challenges the point. It's sent to the front. Scooped away that time. Good job, Antoine Vermet. He clears it down the length, and then he gets clubbed and hammered on a penalty coming up here. Uh, that's frustration wow. right there, yeah. Weiss going to the box, but how about that defensive play by David Schlemko in front of Mike Smith? Dale Weiss shakes his head. Why? Take a look at this play, though, by David Schlemko. Outstanding. Takes the body. Doesn't even focus on the puck. Just takes away Booth's stick. Unable to get that puck. And Antoine Vermette jumps on it. Gets the puck all the way down. Head first into the boards. That is a dangerous, dangerous play by Dale Weiss. Looked a little like the Oliver ekman Larson situation with Derek McKenzie. I personally would have gave him a five on that one. You're trying to eliminate that. Player safety. That's what needs to be taken out of the game. So we go four on four for 40 seconds. Janik Hansen can't get it around Keith Yandel. Again, back to my point, though. That's where coaches, I think, should have the red flag. They can throw on the ice. If that's a five-minute major and the refs have missed it, they should... Take a look at it. You can't miss that. That happened with Oliver ekman Larson and changed the entire outcome of the game with that non-call. And a three on two the other way. Here's a chance. Doan try to get it towards the net. That was a block away by Christopher Tanner. Yannick Hansen back it over the line. This play on the delayed offside is Doan. Will now circle inside of his own zone. Stretch pass back it over the line. Ribeiro. And now he finds Ekman Larson in over the line. He'll take a shot. Oh, and that rode up on Lack. Got a piece of it, though. That was ripped. The hot stick of Oliver Ekman Larson. Goals in two straight games. Points in four straight games now. Vodker will bring it out. Plays it along and back it over the line. Verbata to Vodker. And he just deflected it wide. Hansel out of the corner. And Vodker. Martin Hansel out of the box, so 42 to go on this abbreviated Coyotes man advantage. Bravada tried to send one towards the net, blocked by Richardson. Need to get Redeem Bravada going. He hit the post in St. Louis on Tuesday night. Santorelli will come back, and he brings it along. Santorelli in over the line, little pull-up move there. Still with a pocket of save by Smith. Well, the Coyotes will, will look to get it out, but they can't as it's sent right back in. Yeah, Santorelli tried to catch Mike Smith cheating. On that near post. Nice save there by Smith. Barker to the corner. He'll play it in behind it. Hansel after it. One shot so far on this Coyote power play. It's about to expire. And it's cleared out. And so out of the penalty box is Dale Weiss. And the Vancouver Canucks are back to full strength. Looked right back in that time by Dave Moss. Battles in the corner. Puck thrown to the front. Wide open, it was Korpikoski. They couldn't get him in the puck. His booth brings it back. Over the line for Henrik Sedin. Across it goes, and we get a whistle here. And maybe too many men on the ice. We'll check it when we come back. Howdy's might be headed back to the power play. 1-0 on a Vermet goal back in the first. Vancouver Bench Miner, too many men on the ice. Back, too many men on the ice. You see him right here. Stop it here, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Too many. You can see this Vancouver Canuck player. He gets the puck before his partner, teammate, can get off the ice. Don Tortorella will not be happy with that one. Too many men on the ice. That's, that's just a mental mistake there. 
shaking his head. That's what happens yeah. when teams are struggling. You seem to make more of those. And all kind of goes into the equation. Yeah. Eager Beaver there. So Vermette, Doan, and Bogger, the power play unit, Yandel and Ekman Larson. And the Canucks will send it down. Another Arizona Lottery Powerball power play. Well, Yandel will get it out. He brings it to Doan. Now Vermette with it in over the line. Bogger will set it up in the line, and Yandel will send it across. And Ekman Larson now with it for Yandel. Now well, Ekman Larson trying to get one towards the net. This one off netting, and we'll get a whistle. Well, tonight's cold hard facts are brought to you by Frost Brood Coors Light. The Canucks gave up six power play goals against last night. Since 0405, only the team formerly known as the Thrashers. They gave up seven one night in 2005. Your old team. 132 left in the power play. <laughs> Can't believe that name's not on that list, or that name's on that list, I should say. <laughs> well, there were some nights as this one has moved along, and now we get a whistle here. We got it. Yeah, it looks like what, Ribeiro? And maybe both of them going here. Penalties coming up. Ribeiro will go and. For the Vancouver player as well. Kyrie's got to be more patient. They're, they're pressing a little bit on this power play. You saw it. Phoenix, 63, hook, two, slash. Hook and a slash. Right upper part of your screen. A little hook there. And here's something to think about, too, on Good the power play. Yeah. Keith Yandel, he's been out there quite a bit tonight on the power play. No shots. Oliver Eckman Larson has had three. To see maybe more shots from that point, I, I don't. I'll just be patient. Move it around. The first power play they had was the best power play of the game. Even though they scored on that Antoine Vermette, just move it around. Wait for an opportunity. Get that puck there in the middle of the ice, and then let it go. And the worst place. Handel brings it across center. He'll settle it in. Hansel goes to work along the near boards. Bocker down low as well. Played at the line. Good keep. Ekman Larson. Here's Yandel. Now Ekman Larson over to Verbata. Back to Ekman Larson. He unloads. Blocked out high that time. Higgins got that one. Might have caught him in the wrist or on the hand. And now Bodker will chip it into the corner. Martin Hansel after it against Garrison. Verbata frees it. And now Yandel plays it back to the line. Bodker is there and Yandel looks to set it up. Bodker. Nice pass over. Ekman Larson he goes in and he takes a shot over the top. That one eludes Yandel and it'll be played all the way back by Mike Smith. Schlemko with it. Eight to go in the power play. Now Korpikoski down low tries to take it to the front and Vermette's there. He took a shot. Lack made the save. Penalty is over. Cassian's out of the box. Going with it. Keith has got to get off here. Long, long shift. I think he was out there for all two minutes. Well, as it's played along and now moved back. Coyotes will poke it out, but it's turned right back in, and Daniel Sedin will get it back in. He's had a backhander there. I think Smith recognized that, so we'll get a faceoff inside the Coyote zone. Well, the Papa John student rush is bigger than ever and will be available through all remaining games in January. And that includes Saturday's game against the Devils. Get the best seat in the house for 25 bucks with a valid student ID. Visit phoenixcoyotes.com for details. Tailgating and live uh, music again Saturday in advance of that Devils game, four hours before puck drop at the Westgate parking lots. Does it get any better than that? A little sunshine on the bones. By the way, I think it's supposed to be about 79 degrees and not a cloud in the sky on Saturday. Just, just in case. Hockey weather. You're thinking about tailgate? Oh, I agree. Love it. Great Love hockey it. weather. Oh, I was flying around Westgate before this game. All the Vancouver Canucks fans in Westgate couldn't take the smiles off their face. They were in awe looking around how beautiful this place is. The shopping, the restaurants, the bars, the water fountains. You were throwing around some smiles. I was tossing a few around. Turnover here, kept by Halpert, he'll go to work. 
Jeff Halper now works into the front. The trailers. Morris with a chance. And that's deflected over the top that time by Swartz. Still 1-0. I just go out there and you know do what I can to win to win a hockey game and uh, there's nothing fancy about my game you know everybody knows how I play and I'm not gonna change and just because you know I've been hurt or there's Olympics coming I don't think I'm gonna change change my game because of that or be thinking about it and uh, you know so I just want to go out there play my best and uh, do whatever it takes to win and that's our Geico quote of the game from defenseman Zabina McCall. Dave Tippett saying this morning, guys, you heard him. He is a max effort guy, and that's exactly what this coaching staff is, is looking for to get this team out of the doldrums. Wow. Just look at that smile. That's a hockey player right there. Missing dinties. Sacrificing his body night in and night out. He missed 13 games this year, still leads this team in block shots. Schlemko tries to get one to the front. Ribeiro's there, trying to poke it back out high for someone, but Hansen there, and he steals it away and sends one deep. Pollock after it. So is Yannick Hansen, who played in behind the net. Richardson there for Vancouver. Taken away by Ribeiro, and the Coyotes get it out. Uh, good exit there by the Phoenix Coyotes. Good work down low by McCulloch. Good support by Mike Ribeiro. Out the puck goes. Back of the line, McCulloch. Plays to the corner. Higgins now clear it out. It's time to go back to work on that. Get that puck in deep. We talked about one of the keys to the game. It's the Coyotes four check. We haven't seen a lot of that here in this second period. You do not want to allow this Vancouver Canucks team to hang around. Here's a chance for Bonnie. In over the line. He shoots. And that one over the top. We had all sorts of room for Dean Verbata in that right circle. Uh, four or five missed shots here by the Coyotes in this second period. Make Eddie Lack stop the puck. Got bodies going to the net. Yannick Weber tried to throw it out high. Turnover here. Three on one if the Coyotes hurry. Kennedy over the line. He's got Verbata. He shoots. He stopped. Rebound. Oh, cleared away that time by Dalpy. Oh, the three on one nearly pays off. Oh, what a feed by Kennedy. That's the right play. You want Redeem Verbata shooting this puck. Good speed. The turnover by the Vancouver Canucks. Three on one the other way. Again, watch Martin Hansel. This time, he stops in front. But he doesn't recognize that the puck is right there. The puck bounces right almost to his stick. That's good. our Schwartz laser ice interview from the ice. Yeah, real good job there by Dolpy, though, to get back. And... Shoot that puck back into the corner away from Martin Hansel. That was an empty net. Good takeaway there. Bobker's going to push it down. Korpikoski goes after it. Now in behind the net. Korpikoski trying to leave it there for Antoine Vermette. Kessler in a battle. Bobker will take it away. To Derek Morris. Works into the front. Korpikoski shot wide. I think the Exa might have gotten a piece of that. A real good feed there by Derek Morris to find Korpikoski. I think he just kind of fanned on it. Cleared out of the zone and all the way back where Daniel Sedin will give it to Henrik. And now Daniel. Daniel just walks right in, drops it out high. A shot and a stop there. Hamus is bested by Mike Smith. And then a lock there by Kessler on Mike Smith. What a feed, though. By Daniel Sedin, a little backhand, no looker, through traffic. The Hamus just walks right into that one. Right down Broadway, big save by Mike Smith, and no rebound. That's the key. Mike Smith continues to look comfortable between the pipes. Got better and better as that game went along in St. Louis. Again here tonight. Stone now. Out of the zone, Swartz. Nice job to move it up. Halpern and Chimchura work the corner. Now behind the net. East tries to take it away. Halpern goes after it. At the line, Stone just trying to get it down low. Here's a chance in front, Chimchura. Out of the line, Yandel. Kyle Chimchura. Trying to work it. Well, you got to be boards. Yeah, get that in deep. Good play. To the line, Yandel takes a shot. Might have been blocked in front. Booth's going to try to get it out. Good keep of the line. 
Stone steps in. He takes a shot. Goes wide. Another missed shot. Letting him off the hook. That's center now countering his Chip Chira. He'll dump it in, and that fourth unit will get a change here. And we roll on with 6.05 remaining in the second. one nothing Coyotes. And that Vermette goal on the power play way back in the first period at 12.51. Lofted out. And now McCollum sends one right back in. Stone works it in behind the net. Garrison lost it. Now Garrison gets it right back. Good stick there. Ribeiro. Let's play to center. Schlemko. Looks to bring it out. Play back it over the line. Malak will play it in behind the net. Garrison out. Back through center. Yannick Hansen trying to get around Morris. Good angle by the Coyotes defenseman. A oh, real good body position by the veteran Derek Morris. Taking away that skating lane. Through center. Ribeiro gets it in over the line. This one will end up in behind the Canucks net. That is only with five shots in this second period. 16-16 the shots for the game. Not enough for a team that played last night. Got in late. Steal there, and it bounces off the netting, and we'll step out. Under five and a one nothing Coyotes lead. Welcome back. Here's a look at Kyle Chiptura. An outstanding job for the Phoenix Coyotes on this last shift. It's all about the four-checking pressure. He's going to have a real good center lane drive. There he is, right at the middle of the ice. you got Halpern taking the puck wide. Chiptura, where does he go? He goes for support. He's going to the front of the net, and then he's going to go into the corner. And he's going to help out with this loose puck. Try to outnumber the Vancouver Canucks. He gets a hold of it, and then he eventually gets his puck back to McCulloch, and then he goes right to the front of the net. Good shift by number 24, Kyle Chimchura. Henrik Sedin out to take the draw. Antoine Vermet for the Coyotes. Eklund Larson's going to try to bring it along. He gets it out and back through center for Vermet. Over the line, drops it. Bobker goes to work. Bobker to the front, steered away by Lack. And now it's going to be played in behind the net. That's where Alex Edler picks it up. Through center, Kessler over the line. Kessler going wide. Kessler to the front. That just went wide. Back of the line, Bieksa. Smith without a stick. He shoots. Bad save, Mike Smith. Working without his lumber. Played in behind the net. Trying to move it along there, Henrik Sedin. Mike Smith gets his stick right back. Good sequence there for the Coyotes goaltender. His team needs a clear here. And Vermette will get it to the line, but not out. Daniel Sedin working down low, and he cuts in behind the net. Sedin with a shot blocked away that time by Vermette. Out high, the Exa, and a shot on, and Smith got that one as well. Mike Smith, great sequence there. Yeah, no rebound either by Mike Smith. He continues to feel more comfortable. The drive there by Kessler again. Mike Smith gets run into the third time in this hockey game. Sucks it up, loses his stick, and makes another big save without his paddle, and then that last shot by Bieksa, no rebound. Outstanding job by Mike Smith. 17 saves in this hockey game. He continues to get stronger. Face off to the left of a goaltender, Mike Smith. 19-17 shots favoring the Vancouver Canucks is Schlemko. Plays it behind the net. He'll get one out back through center intended for Tim Kennedy. And Kennedy resets for Schlemko. Schlemko, rough ride that time from David Booth. I got stapled in the corner. Over the line, Hansel, he'll take a shot, glove save lap. That'll get an offensive zone faceoff. Well, the Coyotes now have a military appreciation ticket program for all active and veteran military personnel. A military ID will give you the chance to purchase up to two lower level tickets for just $25 each at all remaining home games in January. This offer is available at the box office during normal business hours and game days, folks. Opportunity here Saturday night to take advantage of that deal when the New Jersey Devils are in town. Monday night, the Toronto Maple Leafs come calling. And we head back to Western Canada. 
for a three-gamer. We'll see these Canucks in a couple of weeks up at Rogers Arena. Romero now against David Booth. Going into the corner in a battle with Christopher Tanev, and it's taken there by Hamuse. Out of the corner, Ribeiro now trying to work it down low, but it's turned and cleared out. This one up into the bench, and so we get a whistle. They'll bring this face off back inside the Vancouver zone. Look at Mike Ribeiro there, trying to find a little magic. He's also been one of those guys we talked about, play a lot of minutes. Snake bitten, 11 goals this year, but he's only got three points in his last eight games. They would love to see Mike Ribeiro catch fire. It's an important stretch. Taken away by Moss. He'll work it to Doan. Doan with a shot and a stop there by Lack. Back to Shane Doan on the plane the other night after that St. Louis game. Frustration starting to build from the big captain. He missed a month. 13 games as well. It's not just going to come back right away. You've got to find that touch again, the timing, and get back into shape. That's number one. And the Rocky Mountain Fever was on bed rest for, for a couple weeks. That That's is not, not easy to do. No, in, in, in some injuries, you know, if it's, a, if it's a lower body or upper body, you can still ride the bike, things like that. But uh, that was a lot of better. Well, and he still says his win just doesn't come back as quick as it did before. Chance in front of Ribeiro. Try to pick up the loose change, and it's cleared out. Yandel. And now Doan will send one in. That line stays out. Doan, Moss, Ribeiro. And that's what he expects out of himself. He expects to be at the top of his game. And when he left, 12 goals, he was leading this Coyotes team. McCulloch got it to the front. That was deflected by Moss and wide. The Coyotes will ship it back in behind the net. Alex Edler there for Vancouver. Back through center ice, blocked away off the skate of Zabinic McCulloch. We talk a lot about how, you know, the dominoes and the pieces uh, fitting into the lineup. It's amazing how the blue line just settles itself down when Zabinic McCulloch is in the lineup. Korpikoski will flip this one in. No, you're right, and, and that's because guys now are playing where they should be. The defensive pairings are, are back to a little familiarity, and guys also, more importantly, aren't playing as many minutes. Some guys are overextended because of the lack of depth on that blue line without a McCulloch, without an Alderac and Larson at times. In behind the net, Henrik, as Sedin got it to the front, knocked away by Korpikoski, and it's cleared out of there. Good pressure by Bodker. Sent right back in. Up the Larson will play to the corner. Well, we might get an icing call there. Now Vermette. We'll get it back through center, and Derek Morris will flip one in on lap. Goes into the corner. Swartz is out there. Picked it off. Came in front of Alak's going to cover this one up. Oh, nice job there by Halpern. Just letting up at the last minute. He was going to run Hamus into the end boards. He doesn't. He pulls up. Smart play. Otherwise, for sure, he's going to the box. Good discipline there by Halpern. Here's the play I was talking about. Still gets him pretty good, but lets up at the last second. And use. Got it through center, picked off. Stone will bring it up as Hansel gets it in over the line for Kennedy. Under a minute to go in the second. Well, that hit the referee yeah. over the glass and out of play. This year, Fox Sports Supports is proud to partner with Stop Out Bullying, the leading national anti bullying organization for kids and teens in the U.S. Stop Out Bullying focuses on preventing bullying in all forms of digital abuse. It educates against racism and hatred, deters violence in schools and online, and helps at-risk students. To learn how you can help, please visit stopoutbullying.org. Fifty-three point six remaining in this second period here tonight is Hansel. Just to play it in behind the net, draws a penalty. Endler's going to go, and the Coyotes are going to power play here. 
in this second period. Oh, they are calling it tight tonight. There's been a ton of Thank penalties. You, Ryan, 23, tripping. Adler going to the box. Big part of their penalty kill. Martin Hansel, the cycle down low. Just working the boards. That's how you draw a lot of penalties. The National Hockey League. Takes out his legs. Now the Coyotes back to work. And you're going to see Big Martin Hansel anchoring himself right in front of Lack. Arizona Lottery Powerball power play. Ekman Larson looks around. Verbata. Thought about it. Hansel now. And he'll work it back to Verbata. Martin Hansel in behind that. For Mike Rivero. To the line, Yandel. Gives it to Rivero. Across. Ekman Larson. He hit the post. Oh, talk about bad luck right there. What a chance. Randall gives it away, and it's cleared away up the ice by Richardson. Oh, what a chance there, Oliver Ekman Larson. Is that ever? 12 to go in the period. Ribeiro across, knocked away. And that's pretty much going to do it here for the second. Way out to play is Mike Smith. And the Coyotes will chip it in behind the net. That's going to do it here for the second period tonight at Jobbing.com Arena. So a minute 13 will carry over, and here's the post. Uh, what a shot there. Lack sees it all the way. Look at Martin Hansel just off to the right a little bit. Got to get right in front of Lack, but pretty good period overall, Matt. Todd will visit with Jeff Halpert. We'll have our NHL Olympians update and also stats and highlights here through two tonight in Glendale. And a lone goal in this one back in the first period. A power play goal from Antoine Vermette is 13th at 12.51. Shots 19 for the Coyotes, 19 for the Canucks, through two. Welcome back. one nothing Coyotes, third period about to get underway. And a quick reminder here, head to the Cox Solutions store in Phoenix, located at the 20th Street in Camelback, to register for a chance to win two tickets on the Fan Express. The winners will be taken from the store to Coyotes game on February 7th. All right. Sounds like a deal. Sounds like I got a swollen tongue. Coyotes, good look there at Henrik Sedin. A team with one goal in their last 174-04 was that Zach Cassian goal last night at Anaheim. That's hard to believe. With all this talent, all these weapons for the Canucks. Yep. One snipe. 174 minutes. It's funny, John Tortorella said prior to tonight's game, he, the head coach of the Canucks, said, you know, when you're struggling, all you need, you need just that one or two little puck luck. sequence, little yeah. puck luck, yeah, and, and it can turn things. And we got a little Kamloops Blazer love here tonight. Wow. My old stomping grounds, Kamloops, British Columbia, cheering on their Vancouver Canucks team. Part of BC I've always wanted to go to, though. And the Okanagan is beautiful up there, right? It is. God's country, we like to call it. Lake Evian. Not sure what park was God's country. <laughs> you just love the smokestacks. I know you're jealous. Hey, for a kid that grew up in Gary, Indiana, I know all about smokestacks. With the black lung boss. <laughs> that's, that's about right. Christopher Tanev will play it away. Higgins will get it out. Now he'll send one into the corner where Keith Yandel goes after it. Oliver Eckman Larson. And he'll bring it along with 45 to go in the Coyotes' power play. That's the time remaining in the Alex Edler penalty. Ribeiro works it out high. Eckman Larson over to Yandel. Now to Ribeiro. Rabada. And four passes and not a shot. One shot so far on this man advantage. It's played back and over the line. Into the corner, Hansel. Hansel up and he works it to the line for Ekman Larson. Across for Yandel. Now Yandel gets it across. Hansel. Thought he might have broken his stick. Battle for it. It pops free. And turn the other way, and Yandel caught. As it's played the other way, Santarelli will drop, and Richardson glove save Smith. Big save. Keith Yandel was trying to 
get back into the picture here. Bad pinch. Vancouver the other way. And that right there is a perfect example. Mike Smith was allowing that goal in games past. Not here tonight. That's a big save. Penalties, meanwhile, Mike Ribeiro uh, goes to the Coyotes box. I, I believe there was a bit of a jousting match with Kevin Bieksa. I think they're getting Bieksa who's trying to hide on the bench there a little bit. Yeah, these are going to be I minor think, penalties. Vancouver Canucks penalty box still empty. Phoenix minor penalty 63. Slash. Uh, three Vancouver, two minutes embellishment. Embellishment is yeah, the call BXA. on BXA, so he's going to sheepishly skate from the Vancouver Canucks bench to the penalty box. He doesn't like it. He wants an explanation, and he is not happy. The lips are flapping. Took a while to get over the penalty box in a minute 20. They are calling it tight here tonight. They are, aren't they? The X is just giving it to Ribeiro in the penalty box over the top of the timekeepers. Those timekeepers, they, they must have some stories. <laughs> I can be a great I'd, I'd, I'd be in a few of them. I always had a few things to say. Well, they continue to cheer uh, back and forth. Usually after I got my lunch fed. At the line, Tanev, glove save there by Smith. So they'll redo it. Just tell Mike Smith, he's a different goaltender right now. The less active he is, the more engaged and more in the zone you know he is. Steady, he's letting the pucks come to him. He's not going for those big Hollywood saves that we saw in the past, you know? Yeah, he's just making the save. Simple as that. I, I like it. He's looked real solid. Derek Morris will play to the corner. Looks to get it out. Hamus couldn't keep the line. And so now the Canucks will play it right back, and Dan Hamus has it. He'll drop it off for Henrik Sedin. Henrik over the line. Watched by Eklund Larson. Got stripped of the puck, and the Coyotes will come right back. It's chipped into the corner where Korpikoski will go after it. He beats two Canucks to the corner. It's the plan along there, and Korpikoski just trying to... Work it down low. He's got support there from Antoine Vermette. And Christopher Tannen will play it in behind the net. See where the legs are heavy. Legs are heavy. The mind is tired if you're the Vancouver Canucks. I just need to force those turnovers. Amus looks to get it out. Plays it along. Take it away, Chipsura. Oh, he'll get it across. Trying to send it to the open point. Taken away by Kessler. Dogged by Bodker. And good job by Chip Chura as Bodker plays it. And Yandel now will up it for Chip Chura. The Coyotes set it up. Right tag team Kessler. A real good example there. That backside pressure. Yandel with it. One on three. Again to the open wing. Chip Chura got tugged on. Play rolls on. This is where that day off yesterday is going to pay dividends here for the Phoenix Coyotes. Day off, pay off, we like to call it. Vancouver, again, they played last night, got in late. Higgins got it to the line. We get a whistle here, the Canucks are offside. Got a redeem for Bada. we talked about him only two goals in his last 19 games. He has had opportunities, and when you're a scorer, I've heard, they like to talk about as long as I'm getting the chances. When you're not getting the chances, that's when you really need to be concerned. Not the case for Rudine Verbata. Derek Morris and now Verbata will chip it up the ice and chasing it down Hansel. Hansel and Hamus. Battle for it in behind the net. Tanev and Verbata join. So does Morris on the pinch. Plays it in behind the net. Hansel tries the... Tries to go back out high. Both of the X and Ribeiro are out. Goes in behind the net. Ribeiro has it. Now Ribeiro for Verbata. Smart play to get it in behind the net. Hansel with it. Canucks with three defensemen out on the ice. 
Then a Canson takes it. And the Canucks will look to move it out. Bieksa. Nice pass for Hamus. Back it over the line it goes. Now holding his Garrison. He shoots him. Got the outside. Cassian goes after it. He'll play it around. Obata gets it to center and Jeff Halpern with it. Across it goes Chipchura. Over the corner. Now Chipchura had a big game in Vancouver last season for the Coyotes. And now McCollum. Dave Tippett rewarding this fourth line. After that last shift, good defensive play there earlier by Chipchura. Weber. Looks to get it out. Good pinch there. It's taken away, and Weber back through center. He'll cross center and get one in. This one goes off the netting. Let's go downstairs, Todd Walsh. Guys, it's a, an interesting phenomenon, uh, and you've touched on it. I think Dave Tippett brought it up a few weeks back, but and I think it has something to do with the, the new balance schedule, but there are teams now that are making this big West Coast swing, and they seem to go to the San Jose and Honda LA or some form of that trio, and then they wind up concluding their trip in Phoenix, and right now the way the West Coast is in the NHL, those are some heavy hitters the teams are playing out on the road, and most often, they're getting beat, and then they're coming to Phoenix, and this is their last stand of the home trip, isn't it? The whole road trip where they're desperate for points, and it's, it's been weird to watch the Coyotes deal with that on many occasions this year. Yeah, it's uh, been very, very difficult to win in the state of California. There's a chance down low to the front. Oh, might have hit the post. I think Richardson caught the pipe there. Oh, I think Mike Smith got a piece of that. He looks like he's a little bit gingerly there in the blue paint. Well, Mike Smith, a uh, little hobble there. He's going to get a face off here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mike he's Smith hurt. is. He's hurt. He sucked that up until the whistle. That left leg, I think he gets a piece of it. Another spectacular save as Kessler rumbles down that side. Little feed there. Look the left leg here of Mike Smith. Let's take a look. Overextends himself a little bit. Kind of jams that skate into the left post. Or if he jars something or or what, he's going for a little twirl. A little pat on the back from Mikel Bodker, appreciating it. Big face off here, Antoine Vermeck. That's Mike Santorelli, Coyotes win it, Schlemko. They'll go high off the boards, but it curls over the glass and out of play. I said big face off just to get the puck down at the other end, maybe give Mike Smith a, a few extra seconds in terms of maybe recovering from this last sequence right here. Uh, left leg just kind of jams right into that left post, jars him a little bit. He's still stretching and shaking that leg out. McCulloch. Schlemko deflected in by Korpakoski. Goes high around. Bodker, good keep there. Works it down low to the corner. Santorelli as well. Ham use in there. Now Bodker comes away with it. He'll play it to the corner for Korpakoski. Hit hard that time by Santorelli. Now Tanev getting worked over by Vermette. Great work that time by Antoine. Took Korpakoski in front. He got hammered that time by David Booth. Now good defensive play there by Booth. Recognizing Korpakoski was up in that quiet area. Out he's though, that four checking pressure, turning pucks over. Korpakoski. Black made the save there. Goes in behind the net. Right side, right side. And now Booth back to center. Blocked away and Verbata has it. And he'll give it back. Is Derek Morris to set it up. Redeem Verbata. Backhanded in by Hansel. Trying to get around Garrison. Sestito has it, and he'll bring it back. Three on three, Canucks to the line. They drop it, and a shot by Hansen is ripped over the top of the net. Oh, already's well, come the other way. Adler that time had Verbata in the train tracks. Did he ever? Heads up play there by Verbata. Good keep, Hansen. And a Hansen bother. Gets it back out high for Edler, who shot the flex to the corner. Oh, good job, Sticks. 
in lanes all over the ice defensively for the Coyotes. Tim Kennedy trying to find an outlet on Sestito, but he can't. Knocked away. Oh, good poke that time by Verbata to force it all the way back to the Vancouver Blue Line. A long shift there for Verbata and Martin Hansel. And over the line it goes to the corner where Derek Morris tries to get one in behind the net. For a little more safety, but it's not going to work because Daniel and Henrik in the corner working it. It came in front. And now BX is there. Alpern trying to get it out. He'll clear it back to center for Swartz. But he overskated the puck. And a counter here for Daniel Sedin to send one in. That's where that puck's got to get in deep, though. Giveaway here. Cassie into the front. He sent it wide. Well, the Coyotes will pick it up and they get it out. Through center ice, Swartz in a one-on-one -on -one with BX. He shoots and up high on Lack as the puck will go to the corner. And right back for Hamus. And over the line, drops it. Cassian has some room. Taken away that time by McCulloch. Now Henrik Sedin in the corner. Lays it down low. Ekman Larson tries to wrap it around. Good keep by Tanev. Ekman Larson right back in behind the net to try to play it along, but it's intercepted there. And it comes in front. A stop that time. Smith as he stones Daniel Sedin. And puck is cleared, and it looks like a penalty coming up here against the Coyotes. And now McCulloch that time gets hacked by Cassian. And this should be two, and we'll wait and see. I just hope McCulloch didn't get one for a little embellishment there. We'll check it. Sensational save by Smitty as well. Now for the Jeep game summary. And when we talked about a return to Coyotes hockey, a lot of blocks in this game. Out of the team in red. Big one there by Jordan Swartz back in the early stages of this hockey game. Then they were able to get their power play going, and the lone goal at this point, Antoine Verbet, as it went in off Hamus. Came at 12.51 on the power play back in period number one. And then Mike Smith, 23 saves to this point of the hockey game. Canucks have put a lot of pucks towards the net. Mike Smith, 23 shots faced, 23 saves. Well, here's a look at the save by Mike Smith, another big one, and then the penalty here on Cassian, but I believe Oliver Ekman Larson in the box as well for the embellishment, no question. Tight game, referees calling it extremely closely. Nobody getting away with anything here, especially a cheapie. Look to Cassian, embellishment to Oliver Ekman Larson, as Tyson just mentioned. So go four on four here. Play it off the end boards. It comes in front. It's loose. Vermette's banging away at him, but he can't get one past any line. It's relentless on that four check. Antoine Vermette almost gets rewarded for the second time. The exit brings it back and over the line. He gets it right to the net. Stop. Rebound goes in. No goal. They're waving it off. Wow. No this, goal. This will be interesting. No goal called on the ice. Might have been directed with a hand. Well, Henrik just goes right to the front of the net and stops right in the blue paint. And he puts this in. Here comes the shot. Oh, yeah, no goal. That's... No question, directed with the right hand. Great call on the ice. Yeah, and it tipped off Derek Morris's stick. And a great look here as it popped right in front, but he just popped it with that glove. At the first angle, we showed you probably the most definitive. Here's a real good look at it. Shot from BX up. This is a right hand right here. Boop. Yeah, he, he, he moves his hand right down to where the puck is, and in it goes. 
He lets it bounce right off him, but he puts his hand down there so he makes sure that it goes off his hand. So this will be interesting. This will be really interesting. Because there's not a hand motion. Oh, he's fighting it still right now. Shane Doan went right to the back to the bench. In a hurry, I'm not sure what he's saying to Dave Tippett. So Shane Doan quickly went to the bench and now he's headed back to the half circle. So just like the, the kicking motion, was there a, a hand motion? Was yeah, let's, let's take one more look. You can let it hit your hand, but you can't. See, he comes down. Yeah, I, and, I think and it, it hits the hand. His hand came all the way down. It looked like he punched it on that first angle. It looked like he but, punched it with his hand. But there's no punch. He comes down with it and allows the puck to hit his hand, and it bangs off his hand into the net. And directs it into the net with his hand. Could, Let's, could we see the, the first angle again? I, I just... His hand was definitely coming down. And he put it there on purpose. Here, here's that first look. And his hand comes down there. But is it going forward? Here we go. After review, call the ice stands. Puck went off the glove. No goal. Puck off the glove. No goal. I don't think the referees explained that very well, obviously, on the loudspeaker here. Yeah, 67.6 disallowed goal. A goal cannot be scored by an attacking player who bats or directs the puck with his hand into the net. So it can go off his glove, but it cannot be batted or directed. Bats or directs, the yeah. key words there. Great job, partner. You pulled that up fast, eh? Uh, that's our stats man, Russ, in the booth. Yeah, I love Bailing it. you and I out. Yes. Oh, thank you. A little upset tonight, Arizona State uh, taking it on the chin, but Coyotes catch, not necessarily a break, but they get away with one. If he lets that puck land, he can knock it in with his stick. So we roll on in the four-on-four four with a minute 21 remaining. And 10.51 for the third period. Leonard now out shooting the Coyotes 24-22. Time for the Coyotes to get her going again here. Punched in behind the net, Yandel. He'll go around for Hansel. Now Yandel again, and this puck set up the ice. We'll get an icing call here. Don't oh, they wave? They wave it off. Ten of them. Oh, two big hits there. And now it's moved along and back it over the line it goes. Holding is Kessler. Now Kessler cutting in behind the net. Cut off that time by Schlemko. He stays right with Kessler. Good defensive play there by Schlemko. Keeping Kessler to the outside. Good stick. Off the line, Daniel Sedin for Kessler. Now Daniel again from that point. Takes a shot. Glove save. Oh. Penalty coming up here. They're going to get the Coyote Schlemko. Interference is going to be the call at the side of the net. So Vancouver will go to the power play. Perfectly played. Up till that point, Dave Tippett not happy at all. Next penalty to the minor for interference. Side of the net, right side of your screen. Let's take a look. There's the penalty. Just a little over aggressive by David Schlemko. Vancouver calls a timeout here. Dave Tippett not happy. Schlemko for interference at 9:57. John Tortorella burns his timeout. Hey, kids, you want to take a post-game slap shot on the ice after Monday's game against the Maple Leafs? It's the Coyotes' I-Score program, and all children aged 6 to 12 years old will have a chance to take the shot. Parents, all you need to do is sign up your kids at the game before the start of the third period. Call 480-563-PUCK for details. Always a thrill to get down there and try your shot on the same ice. With the Coyotes call home here at Chobby.com Arena. Phoenix 
has played with fire tonight. Yeah. And allowing his power play to once again go back to work. The Coyotes have been shorthanded five times now. But that's over four with seven shots. They got nothing in the tank. They played last night. These are these are freebies. This is what they're concentrating on. You want to give us an opportunity? We'll take it on the power play. So it's a four on three for 29 seconds. It'll go to five on four once the penalties to Cassian and Ekman Larson expire. Henrik Sedin will play it into the corner and he gives it to Kessler. And now Kessler trying to get it across, knocked away by Vermette. And he'll poke it up the ice and all the way back inside the Vancouver zone. Oh, great job by Antoine Vermette. You know, right off the ice. What was that? 30 seconds off hard. Back out high it goes, and Henrik Sedin will set it up. It goes across. Jason Garrison now a five on four. As Ekman Larson, one of the penalty killers, stays out. And the Canucks with a minute 23 left in the power play. Here's a chance in front, and just a fucking one. Derek Morris. Well, the Coyotes are battling for it. Morris will pick it off, and he, he gets it out of the zone just barely. And now we'll get a puck played with a high stick against Vancouver. A uh, real nice job there. Sequence by Zabinic McCulloch and Derek Morris in front of Mike Smith. Allowing Mike Smith to see these pucks getting in those shooting lanes that we always talk about. There comes the shot. Mike Smith sees it, steers it into the corner, and then Derek Morris wins the battle down low. And then out the puck goes. Too big, too strong. Back for Larson, a late change. He's back out there. Along with McCulloch, Korpakowski, and Hansel cut killing off this penalty. Korpakowski looking to lock it up along the far boards before it's taken away. Dave Tippett, I'm sure, didn't want to use McCulloch as much as he's had to, but they've saved him for the penalty kill. The penalty kill has had to go to work too many times tonight. Right in behind the net. Back of the line, Edler. Batted away by McCullough. Coyotes desperately trying to get it out. They will up the ice and set by Korpakowski. 40 to go on the power play. Booth now on left wing. Mike Smith will free this one, and he clears all the way down the length of the ice. Bad zone entry by the Vancouver Canucks. Allowing Mike Smith to get out and play that puck. Falling down is Hedrick Sedin. Canucks regroup. Edler now looks to move it out. Back through center. In over the line, Kessler. Shot on, Smith the save. Plays it in behind the net. Well, Hedrick Sedin's going to go after it back of the line. Taken away and batted away by Dave Moss as the Schlemko penalty expires. So we get a nice and call here against the Coyotes. Uh, the penalty kill has been real good in this game. They allowed two shots for the Vancouver Canucks on that power play. A desperate hockey club trying to tie this game up. Again, just the little things, Matt, that we always talk about. The details of the game. And then it moves along and played all the way back. So the Coyotes are going to change here. 7.45 remaining in regulation. Be exit to play it. Garrison now plays it back in over the line. Higgins touches, and we get a whistle here on the offside. Still 1-0. Welcome back, Coyotes, with a 1-0 lead over the Canucks. Zabinik McCulloch back on the ice after missing 13 games. Watch him on the right, reading the play, making what is a pretty simple play, but Z back on the ice has meant something terrific for the Coyotes, a better penalty kill, and just the respect that he commands out there. I talked to associate coach Jim Playfair, guys, earlier tonight, and he said he is one of the ultimate warriors I've ever coached. And you know what? He's not at 100%, but he wanted to get back out there tonight, and he's done that, and we have seen the results already. Well, he's been good here tonight. The again. ultimate warrior. Well, and he just, again, you know, we talked about it earlier. He just settles down that blue line. Yeah, the ultimate competitor, whatever you want to call it. We talked about him in the open of the show. He epitomizes what a coyote is all about. 
Out of the zone it goes, but it's turned back. Henrik tried to set it up there, and Cassie now playing along for Edler. And now Edler has to retreat on a backhand for Bieksa. And the Canucks are very slow to get out of their own zone. Mike Smith is going to flip this one to safety, and it's cleared all the way back. Smart play there. He just fired it right in the direction of Bieksa to avoid the icing, but here comes Henry. Over the line it goes. That hit the outside of the net. Goose in front. Penalty coming up here. They're going to get Henrik Sedin. That's going to be a hook, I believe, here. A hooking call. As he hooked Derek Morris. So the Coyotes will go to the power play. It looks like he's in a lot of pain behind the net. We'll take a look at the penalty. Vancouver penalty to the minor hooking. Right there, hook on Sedin. I think what was hurting him, he got a cross check while he was hooking. Derek Morris on that play, so the Coyotes on the power play, 6.50 to go, a chance to create a little separation. Arizona Lottery Powerball power play as Henrik sits down for hooking at 13-10. 10 minor penalties here tonight for Vancouver. They had to kill off 11 Anaheim power plays last night. Yandel with it. And they didn't do a very good job at that. That one deflected wide by Hansel. I think he might have gotten a piece of it. It's cleared all the way back. One of the best penalty kills in the league. Allowed six last night. Again here once more tonight. So seven in two games. Coyote's hoping to make it eight. Granted, they uh, were shorthanded for two men a couple of times for seven minutes. Almost unheard of. Hansel now to the line. Yandel. For Hansel. Got it to the front. They were looking to set it up there for Ekman Larson. It's going to be taken away. Nice move through center for Brad Richards. And he'll dump all the way down. Well, Martin Hansel just got to plant himself right in front. Let Ribeiro and Redeem Verbata handle those pucks on the sideboards. Back it over the line. Bacher trying to cut past BX. Uh, this one's cleared all the way down the length of the ice. The dangles there by Mike Smith. You know he's confident when he's doing that behind the net. Worries you a little bit, but that's a big part of his game. Slimko sends it in. Lack will let it go. Good keep on the boards. Bodker as he feeds it to Stone. Over to Bodker. Now it goes across. That's intercepted. And Slimko with it. Bodker will bring it along, 22 to go to the power play, looking for our first the Coyotes shot on goal on this power play. Good key to the line by Stone, knocked away Richardson. And right back it comes, Richardson, he holds, he shoots, and he set one wide. Again, runs right in to Mike Smith, again. At some point, the referee's got to protect the goaltender. It's about the fifth or sixth time tonight that Mike Smith has taken one right in the pumpkin. Richardson, and across, Christopher Tanev sends one in. Rolling puck, Daniel Sedin can't keep, and chasing it is Garrison. Good heat from Kennedy that time on Booth. And Richardson for Vancouver will send one in. Martin Hansel brings it back. Over the line, Verbata. Verbata shoots wildly. That comes all the way back. Well, that's what you mean about hitting the net. That nearly a two-on-one for Vancouver the other way. Yeah, that's the 19th missed shot in this game, and now the Coyotes take a penalty. Again, it's going to be Martin Hansel. One of the Bach. I think that's Booth. Yes, it is. Yeah, David Booth. On the ground, and right now they're looking for blood. So David Booth gets clipped by Martin Hansel. Here's how it happened. Adam up high, Canucks to the power play. Time for the Taco Bell Twitter poll results. A runaway figure skating of the four other events that you might watch most. Can't believe curling only came in at 4%. More importantly, Martin Hansel, a double minor for high sticking on David Booth. And so the Coyotes really in a world of hurt here. 
Yeah, there's the call right there. Booth comes in for the hit. Martin Hansel, the stick just rides up the left shoulder of Booth and right into the chops. So Mike Smith stretching out between the pipes. He better be ready to go because he is going to be tested in this next four minutes. Pretty much going to finish this hockey game off shorthanded. Ramet Korpikoski out there with Derek Morris. A shot over the top of the net. Ekman Larson joins him and they clear it all the way down the length of the ice. 351 in the penalty, 355 in regulation. That's what Tyson was just talking about. Garrison will bring it along. Got to back it over the or get over the line there for Tanovic taken away and Korpikoski is going to force it up the ice. They're going to do it the hard way here. <laughs> Finishing this game off shorthanded the whole way. They have made it pretty difficult on themselves for a team that played the night before. They're just begging them to come back in this game. And behind the net, Ekman Larson trying to poke it along. Higgins keeps. And now Daniel Sedin will play it to the corner, but it's taken away. And Ekman Larson clears down the length of the ice. 308 in the penalty, 312 in regulation. Out of the zone it goes. And moving it is Yannick Weber. Got it to center. Taken away McCulloch. He gets it to center. Alex Edler counters. Cassian with it. Now Cassian. Works it to the line. Edler. Now Edler across for Bieksa. Bieksa will take a shot. Goes wide. Bouncing puck to the line. Good keep there by Edler. Good play it in behind the net. Dalpy in behind the net. Zach Dalpy. Try to set it up. Coyotes will take it away. Great play, Halpern. He'll find the outlet and send down the length of the ice. Oh, just so aggressive below the goal line. Schlemko and Zabinic McCulloch. 219 in the penalty. 223 in regulation. Cleared by Smith. What a bad play there by Bieksa. He gave it right to Mike Smith. Moving it along as Bieksa, he'll move it in over the line. Here's Dalpy, taken away, Morris can't clear it. Picked off, Korpikoski will clear all the way down. Holding that blue line are the Phoenix Coyotes. Takes a pretty skilled play by the Vancouver Canucks to gain entry. Minute 48 in the penalty, a minute 52 in the period. Over the line it goes. Going wide is Kessler. Angled off by Schlemko. Taking it away that time. Halpern. He'll clear down the length of the ice. It's going to be four or five clears here on this double minor. A minute 36 to go. Empty the tank. Garrison now bringing it along. Over the line, Kessler. Plays it in behind the net. Mike Smith wants to move it along. He will. Boss trying to jam it along on the far boards. Schlemko picks it off. He clears it out of the zone and back. Way out to move it. Eddie Lack. And now Garrison inside. The neutral zone gets it back and over the line. But this one cleared again. And we get a whistle here on the offside as Eddie Lack was headed to the Vancouver bench. Uh, we'll take a look as Mike Smith still getting looked at and he looks like he's in considerable amount of pain there's the play by Bieksa not smart gives it right to one of the best goaltenders in the league at playing the puck and Mike Smith is in a ton of pain right now I just ignore this highlight and take a look at Smith 58 to go in the penalty a minute two left in the third there goes Lack. He goes to the bench. Morris tries to get it out. He'll clear it all the way back. And Hanson now will have to chase it down. That's the, the good thing. Being short-handed right now, you can just fire that puck down the ice. No icing. But a two-man advantage here for the uh, Canucks. Puck play to the corner. Morris is going to try to wrap it high off the boards, and it's cleared out. But he's got away with one there. Oliver Eichmann Larson taking Edler down. 25 to go on the power play, 29 in the period. Here they come, back it over the line, take it away. Coyotes trying to get it out. Hook it away at it is Schlemko. Trying to get some help. Korpikoski's there. Can't get it out, he does. Vermette just trying to get it up the ice. He had an open net, but he couldn't advance it. Oh, he fans on it, but what an effort there. What a read by Antoine Vermette. Play it away. Korpikoski looks up. Ice. Oh, just wide. Won't matter. Coyotes are going to win. 
time runs out. What a kill. A double minor goes by the wayside. And the Coyotes and goaltender Mike Smith shut out the Vancouver Canucks in the first shutout of the season for big number 41. 28 saves for Mike Smith. And he gets a lot of love, and rightfully so, by the captain and the rest of the Phoenix Coyotes. That is Coyote hockey right there, Matt. And right now, you can give the first star of this hockey game to the penalty kill for the Phoenix Coyotes. They won this game. What a night. Coyotes get the one nothing shutout against the Vancouver Canucks, and they stop the bleeding. Mike Smith sensational. And the three-game homestand is off on the right foot with a win. Mike Smith was terrific. Coyotes win it one to nothing. Tonight's coverage continues in just a moment with Jody Jackson and Tyson Nash. It's Coyotes Live presented by CenturyLink and it starts right now.